Hey, what's up, you guys? Putting a hitch on your Nissan Sentra can take you and your friends to some really cool places like camping, bike riding, it can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's break down this easy hitch install. These are the tools you'll need to complete this installation. Okay, let's go ahead and point out the attachment points for the hitch before we get started. On the passenger side, we've got two pre-drilled underbody holes. We have the tow hook, and then on the driver's side, on the bottom of the frame, there's gonna be two existing holes. One of them we have to enlarge. This is the hardware that needs to go through the frame and you can see that it just doesn't quite fit through that hole yet. So we're gonna go ahead and take a step bit and widen that up. Okay, now that we have the underbody prepped, we're gonna go ahead and put the hitch up. Um, I'll be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to do that. If you don't have one of these hitch jacks, I do recommend you get an extra set of hands. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is raise the hitch and angle it over the exhaust tailpipe, and then go ahead and raise it up into position. Okay, we're here on the passenger side and we're going to go ahead and take our provided hardware and place it through the existing holes and then through the hitch. Um, to do that, I'm going to have to go right behind the fascia here. It's a pretty tight space here, so I'm going to kind of put the bolt in between the tips of my two fingers and then kind of raise up and reach up and find the hole and put it through. Okay, and with that bolt in, we'll go ahead and put our flange nut on so we don't lose it. And now we'll get to take the other flange nut and put it on the, loosely install it on the bolt. Okay, now we're ready for the tow hook attachment. We're going to take the provided carriage plate, put it on top of the tow loop, take the provided carriage bolt, and then go through the plate and through the tow loop, and then into the hitch hole. We'll go ahead and loosely install our conical washer and nut. Okay, so now we're ready to fish wire our hardware through the access hole and then into the pre-existing hole in the frame here. Doing that, we'll use a, a provided fish wire, push it through the attachment hole, and then we'll come out the access hole, just like so. Then we will take our provided carriage plate push it through the fish wire, and then screw the carriage bolt onto the coiled end of the fish wire. And now we'll just pull it through and it'll come right through the existing hole in the frame and attachment hole for the hitch. Now we'll go ahead and take our provided conical washer, place it on the bolt with the teeth facing the hitch, and then our provided nut. Just snug it down there. So our last attachment point is going to be the most rear hole on the hitch here. And there is not an existing hole in the frame, so we're gonna have to drill that, and then again, fish wire using this access hole. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, with our half inch hole drilled, now we'll go ahead and take our fish wire again, push it through the hole. And then the hole. Okay, now we'll take the conical washer, teeth facing up, place that on the bolt, and then the provided nut.
Okay, with the hitch in place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque the bolts. Uh, the first one we'll start with is going to be the tow loop bolt. Um, and on some models, you may see that there is a, a significant gap between the hitch and the tow loop. Um, that's perfectly okay. As you tighten the bolts up, it will draw the hitch up to the tow loop. Let's go ahead and show you that. Okay, using a 11 16 socket, we'll go ahead and tighten this up and draw the hitch up to the tow loop. Okay, now that the hitch is drawn up to the tow loop, we'll go ahead and take our 11 16 socket and torque wrench and torque it to manufactured spec. Okay, now using a 9 16 socket, we're gonna go ahead and torque the passenger side bolts. Okay, now on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and take an extension and 11 16 socket and torque to the manufactured specs. Okay, with the vehicle on level ground, let's go ahead and get you some important measurements. You have a inch and a quarter receiver tube from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube is 10 inches. And the pinhole to the rear edge of the bumper is five inches. And that'll help you determine the length, rise, and drop of your hitch accessories, such as a cargo carrier or bike rack. Thank you for watching our video. Have an awesome day. If you have any questions about this video or you'd like to schedule a hitch installation, please visit us at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.